All right, I thought I would uh, finally get around to shooting this beautiful <clears throat> Winchester <clears throat> Model 1901 10 gauge lever action shotgun. I picked this up around, um, I picked this up around Thanksgiving, I believe. And uh, you know, these 10 gauges shoot two and seven eighths inch shell shells so i um <clears throat> i had to kind of source the components and source everything to make those shells and it had a uh, old disintegrated butt pad so i had to replace the butt pad and then i realized that the previous owner um however many years ago took off the uh took about an inch off the stock so <clears throat> eventually i'd like to find me a replacement full length stock but i went ahead and had to put a, uh, another inch um recoil pad on it a lot better than the one they had this is a pack mire and uh so yeah now the gun is is uh shootable i finally made up some 10 gauge ammo and i'm about to i've got i think three different loads or or two different loads i'm going to test today and uh see how it goes I'm also going to be trying out some uh, aim cam uh, shooting glasses with a camera in them. So um, if everything works out, I'll, I'll have a different view for you today too. Um, it'll be the first time using those also. So I'm not exactly sure um, if I've got the camera in a, in a good place. And unfortunately, I don't have the stuff to be able to test it out in the field. I'm just going to have to kind of use them. And hopefully the footage is good enough to add to the video. So... Stay tuned, and I'll be shooting the Winchester Model 1901 10-gauge lever-action shotgun. All right, so I've got my AimCam Pro 3K uh, shooting glasses on. Hopefully, the camera will pick up what I want it to. This is my test load A, which is a 7.5-inch um shot of 10 gauge two and seven eighths inch um I'll, I'll give you the specifics of the uh, what's inside the shell uh somewhere else maybe or maybe later in the video or whatever so i'm gonna all right so i've got my uh winchester model 1901 10 gauge shotgun loaded up with a couple of my test shells and i've got my aim cam on so let's see what happens shot good cycled good a good low power uh now i believe these winchesters can uh handle up to approximately uh 10, 000 psi on um, so these are kind of well under those uh and it was a pleasure to shoot still 10 gauge but uh not bad at all so i'm gonna load up a few more and uh see how they did all right, I just went and checked my target out and everything looked pretty good. So, uh, which I'm just shooting what I normally have my target stapled to. I'm just shooting it. It's time to replace it anyway. Um, so with these old Winchesters, uh, you know, you have to make your own ammo. I do, I do believe there is a company out there that, that'll make it sometimes, but it's hard to get. But loading, uh, loading these up is pretty easy. So, uh. You know, don't be afraid to get something like this and try it out. You've probably seen, or if you haven't, go check out my video on my 1887 uh, 12-gauge original. Now, those are black powder only, but these will handle the smokeless loads. So, it is nice to be able to shoot uh, a little bit more modern ammo out of it. But, uh, I'm going to give you a little bit better look of everything. So... It's an original Winchester, model 1901. 10 gauge, you can tell it's the 10 gauge because it's got the hinge. The hinge right here on the uh, on the lever. The 1887s don't have that. Um, 
a blued receiver where a lot, most of the, uh, if not all of the 1887s have a case color hardened receiver. Um, mine has been redone, so mine's a blued receiver. This one is completely original though, except for the butt stock that uh, the previous owner, probably a hundred years ago, took an inch off of it and put an inch recoil pad on there, but that pad was disintegrated when I got it. So it was time, time to replace it. This one here ought to last another, I don't know, 100 years or so, who knows. But nice unmolested barrel. You don't want to be on the business end of that, that's for sure. I do hope to take some geese or some, uh, maybe some duck with it. If not this year, definitely next year. Um, our season is kind of winding down here, so I don't know if I'll get it out there this season or not. But, yeah, so... Let's see, I'll give you a 10 gauge. This one is a full choke, so, you know, it'll get on out there. Appreciate you watching. I'm going to load up a couple more and shoot a little bit more. I don't have a whole lot of rounds, but I, I will shoot what I have today. All right, so these are uh, these are just like the 87s in a sense where you have to you have to uh, push the lever down, push the carrier down to access the magazine. Put two in the magazine. This one's got a plug in it. So you put two in the magazine and you could put one in the chamber and one on the lifter. But um, I just went ahead and loaded it up with three. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shoot a few more for you. wonderful shooting gun that full choke is uh is really putting that stuff out there on the uh in a in a pretty good group and now i'm only probably 20 yards at most from the target so it's to be expected uh but so far i like it man it's uh it's a pretty smooth shooting load now i did i did do a a uh a pretty uh mild load especially for a 10 gauge but I just wanted to kind of shoot the gun, see what the gun does. The uh, the next the next one I have up is a little bit bigger, a um, little bit hotter load. Um, not much, but just a little step up from this one. So, yeah. So, uh, if you haven't already, um, I hope you'll like, share, you know, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I've 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 really enjoyed communicating with everybody out there. I've uh, enjoyed um, the growth of the channel over the last few few months or whatever, and and uh, I try to answer all the comments back, um, even in uh, a, a different country. Even if they uh, you know send me a message in their their language, I try to translate it and uh, answer back in their own language. So um, I appreciate everything. I appreciate all the subscriptions, all the uh, comments, the likes, um, everything. My shorts. I do, a, I do a lot more shorts than I do full videos, so please check out the shorts also um, in between videos. So anyway, I'm going to load up some more, shoot a little bit more. So real quick on the, uh, the, the first six that I did was a, a roll crimp. I did a, a regular fold crimp on these, so I'm going to go ahead and shoot this one by itself. It's the only one I have of these. I'll uh, throw it on a carrier pop it up go ahead and uh just shoot this one and see see if i can tell the difference i can definitely tell the difference um in the roll crimp versus the fold crimp the roll crimp makes a lower pressure and uh the uh, fold crimp definitely you can tell the difference in pressure um but all well within uh, specs of this old 1901 shotgun so i'm gonna probably load up some test bees and go from there all right so these are test shot b seven and a half um i can kind of uh kind of tell you right quick test shot a has cheddite hulls uh with with their primers 25 grains of wsf powder one and a quarter number seven shot lead SP10 wads, uh, 10 gauge fiber cushion wads, and a 10 gauge overshot card. 
B is going to have two and seven eighths inch shutite hulls uh, and primers, 35 grains of blue dot, one and five eighths ounce load of seven and a half lead, SP10 uh, wad, uh, fiber wad, and 10 shot, 10 gauge overshot card. So what you do is you push your lever, you push your lifter down. That way you can get to the magazine. You load them, load two in the magazine for this one because I have the, uh, you know, I have the, uh, the plug in it. So you can see in there, if they're ready to go. Drop this one on the lifter. And uh, then you pop it up into place. And that one goes into the chamber. And you are ready for action. Woo, this one's definitely got a little more juice to it. indeed that load right there definitely feels more like a 10 gauge than the uh than the other one so uh the other one was a pretty mild load this one is a, a little more oomph to it and, uh, but it shot good but i'm definitely gonna have to replace my target stand over there now because this one tore it up but uh Man, don't be afraid of these old shotguns. Um, as long as they're in good mechanical working order, um, you can tailor make a load for them or with a little bit of research, with a little bit of, of uh, you know, a little extra money spent probably because you do have to, uh, you know, unless you already reload for shotgun shells and then, you know, you understand all this anyway. But for those that don't, um, other than my 1887 uh, 10-gauge shotgun, this is the only shotgun i reload for so and i do those uh the 87 i do in brass so it's a little bit different than this one but i did uh you know so this is the first this these are the first plastic holes i've ever reloaded so um it's not that bad i did not put my safety glasses on that time there's always one guy on here on every one of my videos i'm bad about not wearing safety glasses i know it i appreciate his concern but he comments on almost every one of my videos no safety glasses, blah, blah, blah. And I, and I look, I get it. I'm bad about not wearing safety glasses. I did get these to try to be able to wear safety glasses and film a point of view also. So I'll try to, uh, try to do that this time. And uh, I've only got three more shells. So not gonna be a long video, um, but I did wanna get out here and at least test it and, and make sure the gun functions, make sure the gun shoots fine. And now I can kind of go back and develop my load a little bit better. Um, and uh, yeah, start having some fun with it, check, check it, uh, the way it patterns and stuff like that. So yeah, those will, uh, that stuff will be coming soon. So make sure you subscribe, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification. That way you know when we do upload a, a new video. I try to get out here and do as many of these videos as I can. Um, I do a lot of shorts in between videos of, of either clips from my videos or just views of different guns. So yeah, um, three more and that'll be it on this video. And I appreciate y'all sticking by. I'm sorry if the wind is, uh, if the wind is getting in, into the camera, it's a pretty windy day out here. You can probably see the clouds behind me. It's going to be storming here in a little while, but I wanted to get out and shoot this gun today. So thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned and I'll do, well, I'll go ahead and load them up right now. How about that? All right, so push the, the carrier down, put the first one in, put the second one in, lay that one on the lifter, push it on, and I'm ready to go. Let's see, I'm going to turn on these glasses. And, uh, Hit the play button. Try to get a little bit better view for y'all.
beautiful shooting shotgun. I've always wanted a 1901 in 10 gauge. This is the first 10 gauge I've ever owned. And I gotta say, it's fun to shoot. It's fun. It was fun to make the ammo for it. Fun to, uh, if you're like me and just, you just love old guns, um, man, you gotta try to find yourself a, a, a Winchester model 1901 in 10 gauge. They are able to shoot smokeless powder. And I know some people shoot smokeless in the, in the, uh, you know, in the 87s also. I don't, um, just because I like shooting black powder out of it. I picked this one up so I can shoot smokeless. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do with this one. I do plan on doing some hunting with this. Um, I don't know about this year because I still kind of need to do some load development, but if not this year, I will definitely uh, be taking this thing um, duck hunting next year or maybe goose hunting or what I, me and my, my sons, we would really like to do a pheasant hunt somewhere. We don't have pheasant here in uh, South Louisiana, so we'd have to go somewhere else. But I do want to look into a pheasant hunt for the, for uh, me and my sons and, you know, that'd be fun. So hopefully I'll take some game with this gun. No telling when the last time this thing is uh, actually taking any game. So appreciate y'all watching. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, we always love to have you around. I appreciate all, all, you know, all the comments and stuff so far. Um, so yeah, um, let's make 2023 a good year and, uh, let's shoot some guns, have some fun. Thank y'all for watching. All right. I thought I would, uh, just kind of jump back in here real quick. Um, I was trying to get some footage with the aim cam. I'm not sure that I did. Um, I didn't have the SD card in there, so I'm not sure if they have a, a memory on their own. I'll have to I'll have to look into that. Seems like I think they might have a, a short, like a, a small memory built into the uh, glasses. But I really like the glasses. They're comfortable to wear all day, um, shooting and everything. There's a few things that I'm, I wish was a little bit different. It's hard to know, or, or at least it's hard for me to remember when they're on and when they're not on. Um, so I, I guess I guess you gotta kind of memorize the buzzes and the, and the sounds and the feels and everything. But overall, I think these are gonna be great glasses. I just gotta get used to them and, and uh, put them to work. So, and earlier in the video, I said I was hoping to have some footage from these. If I don't, that's why. My stupid mistake, nothing to do with the glasses. Thank you for watching.